We shall create one more widget to display the details of a task. We shall display the title of the task, we shall display the status and some description of the task. We will also have two buttons, one to mark the task as complete or incomplete and another to delete the task. Currently our app has only one page displaying the list of items and by the end of this video we will have two screens, one displaying the list, another displaying the details of the task. And the task detail page will appear on clicking an item of the task list. You have to start by creating a new file inside this leaf folder. Let's name it task detail page. Create a new state list widget inside. Create a class task detail page. Extend the class state list widget and implement the build function. Return an instance of the container widget for now. Pass a function to the property on top of the list style widget inside the to-do list page widget. To load a new page on clicking an item of the list, you have to write the code inside this on tap function of the list style widget. A screen or a page is called a root in Flutter and there is a widget for managing the roots of an app named Navigator. Navigator maintains a stack of the roots and the root at the top is what we see. And to load a new screen, we shall ask the navigator to push a new root to the stack. It will add a new root to the top of the stack and the new root will be visible to us. So first of all, we have to convert our widget to a root and we can do that using the material page root class. So first create an instance of the class material page root. While creating the instance, you have to pass a value for the property builder. You have to pass an implementation of a special type of function here called a builder function. The framework calls this function and passes an instance of the build context while calling it. So you have to add a parameter to hold the build context. And you have to return the widget that you want to load as a screen from this function. So return an instance of task detail page. Now you have to get an instance of the navigator. You can create one, but you don't need to because the material app widget creates one for the complete app. You can get that instance by calling navigator.off and you have to pass a build context to this function. And we have an instance of build context passed to this build function. So pass this one. Now call the function push to push a new route to the navigator stack. You cannot pass a widget, you have to pass a root. So pass the instance of material page root that we have created just now. Now save the changes and click on one of the list items. And here we have a new page. Now there are two roots at the navigator stack. So if we call the function pop of the navigator or press the back button, the topmost root will get removed from the stack, making the previous one visible. Now to display the information of the task clicked, we shall pass the instance of the corresponding task from the to-do list widget to the task detail page widget. So pass the instance of task corresponding to the item clicked on the task list to the constructor of the task detail page widget. Now we have an error here because we have not added the corresponding field to the task detail page class. So let's go ahead and do that. Create a field of type task, import the file task.dart and create a constructor with one argument, one parameter of type task. Inside the body of the constructor, initialize the field with the value from the argument. Now we have an error here and we are getting this because of the null safety. We have declared the variable task but we have not initialized and when we don't initialize a variable the default value is considered to be null but the type here is non-nullable because we have not yet added the question mark and that is the reason for the error. We are trying to keep a null value in a non-nullable type. To fix this we can make it nullable by adding the question mark but that is not necessary. We should avoid using null as much as possible. 
so what we can do here is we can add the keyword late to specify that we are going to initialize it soon at this moment we have not initialized it but soon we are going to initialize it before we use it this approach of initializing variables using the constructor is so common that dart has came up with a simpler way you simply need to add this dot the variable name to the parameter list itself and you are done you don't even need this body of the constructor now create the layout for this detail page add a scaffold add an app bar to the scaffold pass a text widget to the property title of the app bar and to this text widget pass a string to be displayed as the title add a column to the body of the scaffold and add three text widgets to the list of children for the title the status and the description of the task Now here notice that the children of the column are aligned towards the center of the widget. Now to bring them towards the left, to align them towards the start of the horizontal axis, pass cross axis alignment dot start to the property cross axis alignment of the widget column. The horizontal axis is the cross axis in case of a column. Add a row and to the list children pass two elevated buttons, one for updating the status and the other to delete the task. Save the changes and see how does the page look. So we have learned how to create a stateless widget, how to handle click on an item of a list, how to load a new page from one page, and how a page of an app is represented in Flutter. We have learned about the navigator. Next we shall add some styles to the elements of the page to make the page look a little better.